Let's start today having an anthropocentric point of view of the world. I'm Alex Veldi and welcome to this video. Today I will share with you a very beautiful and unexpected encounter with many black vultures on the Pacific Ocean coast in Mexico. We are sharing this planet with different wildlife species and each one of them is beautiful in its way and also there is a reason why they look that way. But why we have to see and consider things only throughout our aesthetics criteria. Before we move on with the video, I would like to say a big thank you to the people that are part of Beauty and Art family on Patreon. Thanks a lot everyone. I would also like to mention that I'm not an expert and I don't know much about them. So the purpose of this video is to share this beautiful experience and some information based on the things I've noticed while observing them, together with some research I've been doing. They are real cleaners of the ecosystems. By eating the carcasses, they stop spreading bacteria and diseases. I often hear when I mention vultures to someone, oh, they are ugly or similar reactions. Each animal is beautiful, different, essential for a healthy planet, and there is a reason why they look that way. The way they look changed and adapted over the years during their evolution in order to make their life easier in eventually a more efficient body. So you see, same things happen to us. How we do things today, how we look, developed, adapted and evolved over the years. And today we are taking many things for granted, including the species. So even if we look different and do things in a different way, we do have things in common with them. Things like affection, compassion, anger, tenderness, only to mention a few. Here, for example, they are helping each other to clean. Here, the mother or the father, because it is hard to distinguish them, is feeding the juvenile. But how about this? Or this? But what about a good stretching? But then, we do have in common other needs, even if we do them differently. dedicated years traveling to some incredible places. I'm Alex Belvi and I'm a wildlife photographer. Beauty on our project is my personal tribute to our planet, where I hope to my photography to convey the beauty of these species and the place they have in our world and try to help protect them but also show the impact we have on them and their habitat. Support the project by choosing a membership on Patreon. I never saw so many black vultures in one place, look! Wow, it is incredible! There are so many! There are maybe 40! It's <laughs> In one place, it's incredible, I never saw so many. Okay, I will uh, try and maintain a distance. I'm uh, using my tele lens. Previously, I had the privilege to document the turkey vulture. So when you are close, the difference is quite obvious but there is a way to distinguish them also from far. When in flight you can notice that the turkey vulture has a bigger white area on the wings, but the black vulture has a smaller white area closer to the tip of the wings. I will try to not uh, be a threat to them. They are everywhere, they are everywhere, everywhere you look. 
I also notice that they may have different roles in their community. For example, individuals that are looking for things that can be a threat to the group. I've noticed a similar behavior while documenting the ground squirrels in the Canary Islands. A way to distinguish a juvenile from an adult is the head. The juveniles have a darker head and some feathers on it. Feathers that will fall as the juveniles will grow. Their sense of smell is very well developed so they rely on it to locate the food. They can be very competitive when it comes to the feeding process. Also, some of them like to imitate what the others are doing. So this individual left a full meal where he could eat all alone to join the others. But soon after, some other ones are taking the opportunity. Due to the high level of acid in their stomach, around 100 times more concentrated than our gastric juice, they are immune to the bacteria that the carcasses contain. But even if they feed mainly on carcasses, I also spotted them enjoying some berries. Someone else wants to join the fest, and I noticed that the black vultures didn't mind that. They continued peacefully to do their things. I wasn't expecting that. They are maybe, they are everywhere. There are maybe around 50 black vultures. And uh, gathering here together. Previously I mentioned how they have their head without feathers. So you see, that facilitates cleaning after inserting their heads into the entrails of the carcasses when they feed themselves. As you can see, nothing is there by chance. Everything in their anatomy and physiology is with a purpose. Their feet and talons are weak and are designed for walking. They aren't adapted to tearing flesh or carrying food like most other birds of prey. So as you can notice here, juveniles together with adults are taking advantage of the situation. So the competition continues, but even if they seem like they want to attack the other one, to date, I never seen them hurting each other. It seemed to me like they simply want to send signals to the other one, of who's in charge there or who arrived first. Now, with a full stomach, it is time to clean the beak and move on with the day. They are birds incapable of emitting any voice, so they produce some hisses when threatened and maybe there are some other reasons why they are doing that. In order to keep their body clean and healthy, they open their wings and let the main source of ultraviolet radiation, which is the sun, to disinfect their bodies. So in the end, I would say that they deserve more credit for the good that they are doing to the ecosystems and to the planet. After that, 
they were heading to the north side of the beach, where I later noticed that they have an area where the juveniles are growing and practicing their skills. So behind me there are some juveniles, black vultures, and it's so amazing they are learning to fly and they are just jumping from uh, flying, doing short flights from tree to tree, trying to improve their skills of flying. <laughs> it's so amazing. They reach the size of an adult quite quick. But to have a better understanding of the size of this individual, please notice the coconuts, then compare the size. Ciao bimbi, come state? Nel messaggio di oggi c'è anche un consiglio, spero che voi riusciate a vivere in armonia con la natura e con tutti questi animali e cercando di rispettare tutto questo. Per esempio, no? oggi, che questo documentario è sugli avvoltoi neri, vi faccio un esempio che quando io parlo con eh, o menziono alle persone eh, questi animali, Spesso la reazione è ah, che sono brutti o cose così, quindi il mio suggerimento per voi è eh, spero che voi riusciate a vedere il mondo da più punti di vista, non solamente in maniera antropocentrica. Se vi ricordate, avevo menzionato un concetto simile in un video anteriore. Crocodiles are often seen as unattractive and not charismatic animals, but What if we don't look at the world using only our criteria of aesthetics? And of course, not from an anthropocentric point of view, but we actually try to see the world through their eyes. Uh, rispettando tutto questo e sapendo che tutti gli animali sono belli e nel loro mondo, ok? E loro sono così fisicamente perché c'è una ragione. L'evoluzione ha fatto che loro si adattassero all'ecosistema in cui vivono per avere un con un corpo più, più efficace per aiutarli a vivere meglio ok? un bacio, ciao! ricordate uh, never give up on your dreams okay. bye So my hope is that after watching this video, in case you didn't know much about them previously, you will see them with different eyes, without any judgments that they don't deserve. Please consider to subscribe to this channel if you are enjoying what I do and you would like to see more content like this. See you in the next video guys. Bye. Much love.